guys, for today's video I'm doing my June 2015 Top Box unboxing video. I love doing these videos for you guys and this month I wished for the regular Top Box so I have no clue whatsoever what I'm getting, which I kind of like. Um, as I've said in many other videos, I'm sorry that I haven't been uploading on a regular schedule. That is just because I had grad yesterday and I'm getting married this Saturday and today is Wednesday. So I have like four days until the wedding. It's nuts. I'm a little bit stressed out. That's probably also why, or no, that is why my makeup is kind of looking not its best right now. Sorry for that, but I figured I may as well, um, film some videos for you guys because you guys have been very, um, patient with me, you know? So, I need to give you guys a video. So, nevertheless, let's get into this and I'll stop blabbering. Comes in their iconic purple tissue paper. And here we go. So the first um, product that I have here is a China Glaze nail polish, and it is white. I kind of like that because I need a white nail polish in my life. That is one color that I don't have. And this is obviously old because it is from The Giver. It's a limited edition. The Giver came out, oh my goodness, last April? No. Definitely came out last year sometime. So this is a little bit old, but it's a white. So hopefully it's nice and it's not streaky. This is the color New Birth. So yeah, that is what it looks like. I'm just gonna... So yeah, it just looks like a very nice milky white. Hopefully it is a nice white because I know whites are hard to formulate in the nail polish uh, industry. So that'd be cool if it actually worked. And that was obviously a full size product, which is really cool. This so next product is surprisingly very small. This is the Saint Tropez bronzing uh, lotion for your face. So this is a very small product. I've never used uh, anything Saint Tropez. I've heard that it's awesome. Um, however, I kind of steer clear of anything that says bronzing like, um, like self tanner. Just because I'm so pale, the likelihood of me turning orange is a lot greater. So, um, yeah, I usually don't use anything like this. I don't know if I'm going to try this. I want to, but I'm scared that I'm going to turn orange. But this is a good tanning product, so maybe I won't turn orange. Two things that I got. This is from Fruits and Passion. This looks like a mask. Sweet. This is the Cucumber Face Mask. It's for all skin types. This non-greasy formula leaves skin wrapped in a velvety soft finish, no paraben added. That's pretty awesome because this is like a calming face mask. And that's probably what I re need right now since I am so flippin' stressed out. So that's kind of nice. And the last thing that I got is Paula's Choice Clinical KP Treatment Cloths. It has salicylic and lactic acid in it. So it says it re eliminates red bumps on arms and legs and visibly reduces redness. Huh. That's kind of cool. I've never seen anything like this. So how many cloths? I get 10 cloths in here, so that's kind of cool. So um, this is actually a really, really short video. I'm sorry, guys, but that is actually all that I got in my top box. Um, the Saint Tropez lotion is regularly $38 for 50 milliliters. The China Glaze nail polish was $10, and I got a full size. And the Fruits and Passion face mask was $2.50, and I got a full size, obviously. So, and Polish Choice is 27 20 for 60 treatment cloths. So obviously just with the uh, the face mask from Fruits and Passion and the China Glaze, I'm already at $12.50 for a value of my top box and I pay $13.50. So obviously this is the value exceeds the total cost of the box, which I really like. Um, and yeah, I don't know how I feel about this uh, um, about this box. I like it better than last month's, definitely. Um, I'm excited about the face mask and the nail polish. Not really that excited about the Saint Tropez bronzing lotion. And even though these are cool in theory, I don't know if I'm going to use them that much. Like, it just seems kind of weird. Um, but yeah, so it's definitely not one of my favorites, but it's not the worst top box that I've ever received. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you got a top box this month, please let me know what you got. Maybe you got the same thing as me or different things. If you've tried the products out already, um, please let me know your thoughts on them. And if you've made a video um, 
for your top box unboxing, feel free to link it down below and I'll watch it. I love watching these types of videos and just seeing what everybody got and their thoughts on them. So I will see you guys later. Again, as I said in my last video, it's probably going to be a while until I film again and just because I will be on my honeymoon and I don't really want to do anything while I am on my honeymoon. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I will see you guys later.